you know, things to be grateful for while in lockdown. Man, there is there is so much though. There's so much good with spending time at home with loved ones. Like if you're alone right now and and locked in your apartment, if you're alone, this is a time for you to go inward. This is a time where you have the opportunity to get in touch with you. You can <laughs> you have a lot of that time luxury right now. <laughs> To explore what's going on up here. What's going on in here? What what is that thing that keeps coming to your mind? <laughs> like, God, I can't stop thinking about Cool. Well, I mean your whole Monday's open. So why don't you go sit in a lotus position and stare at a wall for a while and figure it out? Breathe deep, stretch, you know. Meditation in general, if I'm going to be doing something stationary, I'm, I'm going to stretch while I do it. I'm, I'm a very physical person. I, I like to draw my energy out of my head and into my body. And that helps me center myself. Maybe it's the same for you. Take this time. Go relearn the ability to touch your toes. <laughs> Try to do a bridge. <laughs> Really just loosen up and get in touch with you. That's a wonderful opportunity if you're alone right now. And if you're not alone, if you're with family, oh my gosh, this is the most wholesome time ever. You get to hang out in your home with people you love. Man, talk about testing relationships too. You're going to learn all kinds of things about each other. You're going to learn how to communicate better. You're going to learn patience. You're going... <laughs> It's going to be wonderful because what are you going to do? We're going to go out to a movie. No, you aren't. You're going to stay in. You can watch a thousand things. And eventually, you're like, God, I'm so tired of watching things. I've covered that in the past. You're going to have to rediscover. Sorry, I just itched my eye. It was terrible. Uh, you're going to have to rediscover activities together. Games. We, we rediscovered Yahtzee. <laughs> It's really fun. We've pulled up card games from the depths of the closet. And it's it's good to be able to hang out and have conversation and having to learn skills of conversation again that maybe you didn't have with those closest to you. Some of us, we get so stuck on autopilot with those around us. It's like, yeah, relationship's good. I don't need to talk about X, Y, Z. We, we just, we say A, B, C to each other every day. And like our relationship's fine. And maybe it is fine. Just, I'm not saying that. I, but now you're in a room with that person for weeks on end. What are you going to talk about? What are you going to do? Now is an opportunity for you to become close with your family. Whether it's a sibling or a love the one <laughs> or a spouse or <laughs> friends. It doesn't matter. You've got each other right now. And even if you're going stir crazy, you got that cabin fever, you got each other. And that is something to be very grateful for. Especially in a, a can I call it a calamity? The calamity of losing people. You have someone. Wow. That feels good. What else is amazing right now because of lockdown? What is really cool? You know what I'm really happy about? America's response time was amazing, by the way. Uh, go America. Uh, and I'm really proud of certain stores, actually. Like a, a praising of different companies. Hear me out on this. People are showing up at crack of dawn hours, waiting in line to get 4,000 packs of toilet paper, right? What does the store do? They respond with, at this time, we're gonna have senior hour. So our, our employees and seniors can come in and get the supplies they need. The companies adapt to fit the needs of those who are less able. Amazing. That's so good. That's really good. Like High five companies that did this kind of thing. And you can insert any example you want. I know Costco did this. Uh, I know there's a few others that did similar things. I, I just, 
Like that to me is a working economy. That to me is exactly what capitalism does. You have to adjust to the needs of the market or your company dies. <laughs> it's that simple. So like that, I don't know. It just, it, it warmed my heart to see that. I was very, very happy with that. Um, what else? Communities have been getting stronger, not just staying indoors, like different neighborhoods have hosted solidarity events where you think you go out and some of them are dancing in the roads. Some of them are dancing, not like, not like blocking traffic, but like in the, the cul-de-sacs of their neighborhoods, in the apartment complex roads. They're like, hey, you're not alone during this lockdown. We're all hanging out, even if it's six feet apart. We're all hanging out and helping each other. Neighbors know each other's names right now. That's good. People are reaching out. Are you doing okay? Do you need anything? I have extra toilet paper. Do you need toilet paper? How are you holding up, Miss Elderly Lady? Who I only ever see randomly as she sticks her head out the window. But I actually know her name now. Wow. So communities have thrived. People have been helping other people. That's good. That's something to be very grateful for. In all this time during the lockdown, there are many, many things to discover that are good, wholesome, pleasant to think about. Pleasant symptoms of being stuck in the same place. Coffee's not bad either. See that? Try it with me. You can just breathe. Whether you're working from home, you're working half hours, you're not working at all, whatever the situation you're in, you can afford to just stop for a second. And look at that. I didn't miss a deadline. No one died. I'm not stuck in traffic. And people are honking at me at a red light. It kind of relates to that first point. This whole lockdown has taught us to slow down a little bit. Maybe we've had a chance to reflect on our actions. Maybe we've had a chance to look at how we conduct ourselves in society, at how society interacts with each other, how we are in the workplace. <laughs> Is our job even worth going to? What have you done to adapt in this time? As we're locked down, have you learned anything about yourself, your skills, about your dreams? Are you working towards something now that you weren't before lockdown? You're like, wow, I, I've been putting this thing off or I've been forcing myself to go to this job again and again and again. And really what I want to do is I just want to teach a tumbling class. <laughs> Great. <laughs> cool. When lockdown's over, I'm sure people will love to just... Get away from their kids for an hour. <laughs> as much as we love hanging out with each other, sometimes you need a break. I'm, I'm very interested to see what kind of creativity comes out of this. Because I, I genuinely believe we are going to run into automation issues in the future. We are going to run into more pandemics. This kind of thing is going to happen again and again. This is a learning opportunity for you, for me, for everyone. What are we going to do in these situations? And what I'm what I'm hoping, what I think will happen, is a creativity explosion. There's going to be down periods. There's going to be a huge rise in depression, in unemployment, in fear. In There's going to be a rise in negativity in general. But, like all things, it passes. It's a cycle. And the upswing of that cycle, I think, the answer to those problems is creativity. What can you do? that is creative. And I don't just mean painting. Like, I'm so frustrated that I put the paint on the canvas. Wow, I feel better. No, no. I mean, you're going to have to be creative with the next business venture. You're going to have to be creative with your next steps in a career. If you're not starting a business, what are you going to do for work? Where can you go that's still available with your skill set? What can you do 
to grow your skill set, to, to get out there and provide service to the world? These are not easy questions to answer. They're not. But if it's the difference between you eating or being homeless, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. And that, that is an amazing gift. It's, it's like Nietzsche, right? The worst things that come into your life are actually blessings because they, they make you stronger. He would, he would always wish, uh, not negativity, was it like misfortune upon his friends? He's like, I wish you many mishaps. Or, I, I'm totally butchering that quote, but read his stuff. You'll know what I'm talking about. The, the adversity that you have is actually a blessing to you. It's your greatest strength. Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this all the time. It's the same thing. Gary V, uh, <laughs> it's the same thing. What's wrong with you is actually what's right with you. You just have to learn how to transform it. I don't know. Is that transformation? Look at that. Isolation has taught me new hand gestures. ASL community, get on this. Transformation. What's up? <laughs> and that's another thing that I'm very grateful for with this lockdown is realizing, not that I didn't know this, but, but realizing how good I am at self-entertainment. How... It's one of my favorite things about myself. Learning to appreciate yourself is a huge thing to pick up during this time. But I love how I'm never bored and I'm constantly able to make myself laugh. There's always something that I'm just enjoying if I want to. And I wish you the same kind of peace, gift, skill, happiness. I wish you the same thing. I hope you find something as equally valuable. Find those things that are good during this isolation. You can do it. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Then if I may.